Good morning and welcome to Holy Family. A special welcome to our first communicants and their families who are joining us today. We are so excited to welcome nine new members around the table of our Lord today um, who are young boys and girls who will be receiving Jesus in the Eucharist for the first time. Communion today is going to look just a little bit different as we celebrate our first communicants. We're inviting the first communicants and their, their parents to come forward first to receive um, before the rest of the, the congregation will. Um, we're so excited to, to be here and to, to experience this, this joyful celebration with all of you, and we're glad that that you're here with us in those families and friends watching from afar on the live stream. Thank you for, for joining us today. Our liturgy this morning is being um, enhanced by our children's choir and some musicians, and our celebrant today is Father Bob. At the end of Mass on this Mother's Day weekend, Happy Mother's Day to all of you, we will be crowning our spiritual mother, Mary, the mother of Jesus, and our mother. So at the end of Mass, we'll be processing out to the Mary statue in front of the church. Um, our first communicants will lead us, and then our children's choir, and then anyone else that would like to participate in that procession is invited to join um, behind our children's choir at the end of Mass to honor our, our mother, Mary, and all of our mothers here on this wonderful Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, God bless, and please stand for our opening song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Well, happy Mother's Day to all our mothers, as well as we welcome our First Communion children and their families. This is a very special day in their lives, and we celebrate with them and welcome them as a wider community of faith happy that they can now join us around the table of the Lord and receive Jesus in Holy Eucharist. My friends, as we prepare ourselves to encounter Jesus in word and in sacrament, let us prepare our minds and hearts asking for his mercy and for his peace. 
Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed or crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. Now, when the apostles in Jerusalem heard that Samaria had accepted the word of God, they sent them Peter and John, who went down and prayed for them, that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for it had not yet fallen upon any of them. They had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit, the word of the Lord.
Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste, taste and see the, the goodness of the Lord. of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see And see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. From my fears, God save. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Look to the Lord and shine in the light. Let your faces not be ashamed. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope. But do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear, so that when you are maligned, those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that be the will of God, than for doing evil. For Christ also suffered for sins once, the righteous, the righteous for the sake of the unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to that death in the flesh as he was brought to life in the spirit. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always, the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot accept, because it neither sees nor knows him. But you know him, because he remains with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live and you will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I in you. Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. And whoever loves me will be loved by my Father and I will love him and reveal myself to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I brought a friend along to help with the homily today. Some of you may have met him. His name is George, and he's been with me a long, long time. But he's still young at heart. How many name something like a favorite object, maybe your car. Do you have a name for your car? Mine's Oscar. <laughs> the previous one was Betsy, but you know, it's just a name comes to you. And, but nobody? All right, I'm weird, I guess. All right. Anyway, I have a question. And the question is, how do you show your love for someone? So, boys and girls, just think about that for a minute. How do you show your love for someone? I'm sure, you, I'm sure you do, and you probably don't even think of it, showing love. But how do you show love for someone? Anybody? Yes. You could give them something. You can give them something. And, you know, it's probably something you know they would like and really appreciate. That's a beautiful way to show love to someone. Yes. Be nice to them. Be nice to them. That's always a good way to show love. Yes? Um, being patient with them. Being patient. That's a beautiful quality, to be patient with someone who might be a little slow. Or whatever. Respecting them. Respecting them. There's some over here, okay? Give them a hug. Give them a hug. I like that one. And do something for them. Do something for them. That's right. There's so many ways that we can show love for someone. And now the question is, how can you show love for Jesus? Okay, got some ready hands up. Pray. Pray. That's a great way because you're talking to Jesus, you're listening to Jesus, you're having a relationship with Jesus in your prayer. I was going to say the same thing. The same thing, yes? Go to church. Go to church. This is where we pray as a community to Jesus. Be yourself. Be yourself. Did you say that? That's a great thing. Because when you be yourself, you're allowing Jesus and when the many gifts that he's given you to fully come alive and be shared with other people because you are special and unique and loved by him and he wants you to share how he has made you with other people. It's a beautiful way to show love to Jesus, being yourself in the best way you can be. Wow, these are profound answers, would you say? Ones I never expected. Well, one thing that he says here, remember when we listen to the gospel, he says, Jesus, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Now, the first thing we think about the commandments is the Ten Commandments. And actually, when Jesus was asked a question by uh, a, you know, someone schooled in religious stuff, he said, How would you, what's the greatest commandment, Jesus? And Jesus says, it's in two parts, actually. He says, love God and love others. 
So when Jesus is referring to the commandments about, you know, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, he's basically saying, love God and love others. So, you're doing something that shows your love for God. You're coming and receiving him in Holy Communion. You're saying, Jesus, I love you and I want you in my life. He says, in that last supper, he says, this is my body, this is my blood, do this in remembrance of me. And you're doing it. And you're showing great love for Jesus. But you want to know something. Jesus went on to say that those of us who love God and love Jesus, he says, I will come to you and live in you. Think about that for a minute. That when you receive Jesus, you receive God, because Jesus is God, and Jesus comes and lives in you. You first receive Jesus at your baptism, but you renew his life in you, you renew his presence within you when you come and receive him in Holy Communion. And so when we think about how we love God and love others, we allow Jesus to come into us to live in me, and he gives us special help to become like him to love others. Jesus showed his special love for us when he offered his life on the cross. And as we receive Jesus, we become more like him and want to love like he did, even when it involves sacrifice. When you mention patience, having that willingness to put others first and myself second. And that's what Jesus will be honored and made very special and will be very, very happy when we take him in, recognize he's in us, and he just wants us to live like he did, to love like he did, to think like him, and that will make the world a far better place. And we need God's help. Sometimes we can get selfish, and so that's why Jesus comes to us, so that we can be reminded, first of all, what, who we are as God's beloved sons and daughters, and how we're to live our lives, not just for ourselves, but for others. In imitation of Jesus, he gives us that help, that grace, that power, that supernatural energy to be like him. And so, I thought I would sing a song that you guys are going to be involved with. Did you get some exercise today? Maybe you didn't when you're getting ready for First Communion, but if you might stand up, please, I'll need some help from Matt. This is an, a simple song, and it talks about how Jesus lives in you. This is the way it goes. Joy is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart. We think of the heart being a castle, a very special place, and Jesus lives in our heart. Sometimes call it the soul, that very hidden special place in us that Jesus lives in. So joy is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart. Joy is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart because the king is in residence there. Who's the king we're referring to? Who's the king that's referring to that lives in us? God. God, that's right, Jesus, whom you're receiving in communion. So Jesus is in residence in your heart, in your soul. And now the second part, and this is where Matt will come in. Yeah, I practiced yesterday. Okay, so if you come out into the, into the aisle, just so you won't hurt anybody, and then because we're going to be moving arms. And so the next part goes, 
So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know, let the whole world know, let the whole world know. So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know that the king is in residence there. What do you think? Can you do that? It's like calisthenics, but you don't have to do the legs part, just the arms part. All right? So now, if you'd like to sing along, that would all be better. In fact, we'll have some help over here, I hope. All right. I know we didn't really practice this, but it's not hard. Okay, here we go. Joy is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart. Joy is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart, because the king is in residence there. Here we go! So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know, let the whole world know, let the whole world know. So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know that the king is in residence there. Peace is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart, in the castle of my heart. Peace is the flag flown high in the castle of my heart, because the king is in residence. Here we go! So let it fly in the sky, let the whole world know, let the whole world know. Let the whole world know. So let it fly in the sky. Let the whole world know that the king is in residence. There. Let's give a warm round of applause to our first communion children. You did a great job. You can return to your seats and we'll carry on. Thank you, George. Let's stand and together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Gathered in the name of Jesus and empowered by the Holy Spirit, we now humbly present our petitions to the Father. For the Church, that as our relationship with Jesus grows, we may be emboldened to live and love as Jesus did, and so reveal God's goodness and care for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a new lay pastoral associate for our parish, that the Holy Spirit will guide our search committee and provide us with the person who will best meet the needs of our community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers and those who have been like mothers to us, that God will watch over them Bless them with every good gift and fill their hearts with peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for those celebrating First Holy Communion this spring, especially at this Mass, for Grace Buchanan, Patrick Conroy III, Lily Davidson, Noel Davidson, Luke Drummond, Emerson Kaufman, Hamish McGregor, Hadley Mitchell, and Jonah Sangalini, that they may grow in their love for Jesus and follow him closely through their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, that they may rest in peace in heaven, especially at this Mass for Jack Collins. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions received in our parish prayer lines and for the personal needs and intentions we offer in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, graciously hear and answer these in all our prayers, which we offer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. 
For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. And let us stand. For 
at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and let us offer each other now a sign of peace. if you'd kindly kneel. My dear children, you are about to receive the most important sacrament of our worshiping community. Reception of Holy Communion is the high point of your initiation into Christ's life and into our Catholic family of faith. We joyfully welcome each of you to the table of the Lord to join us in receiving Jesus' body and blood. And so we ask that the children and their parents be allowed to receive Holy Communion first before the rest of the congregation comes forward. My friends, this is Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. The Mothers Offering Mothers Support Book Club invites all mothers to take part in a new four-week series beginning this Wednesday at 7 p.m. They'll be discussing the book Holy Moments by Matthew Kelly. This Thursday is Ascension Thursday, a holy day of obligation. The masses will take place on Thursday at 8.15 a.m. and 6 p.m. Members of the Respect Life Committee are at the doors of the church today selling silk roses for Mother's Day to benefit mothers and babies at the Friends of the Unborn Home in Quincy. Your generosity will be greatly appreciated and they'll be handing out prayer cards for mothers as well. Check the bulletin in our website for more information about these and other activities happening here at Holy Family and in our wider area. And please pray for the repose of the soul of John Joseph Murray, whose funeral will take place here on Friday at 10 a.m for Sheila McGrail, whose funeral will take place here on Friday at 12 noon, and for Tina Pierdenach, whose funeral will take place on Saturday at 10 a.m. We thank all who helped make this celebration so special, especially our youth choir and musicians, and those who helped prepare the children, including our Director of Faith Formation, Matt Bensman, and in a special way, the parents of our First Communion children who participated with them in the Faith Formation sessions. After Mass, the First Communion children and their families are welcome to pose for pictures in front of the statues out there, as well as the flowering trees at the front entrance. 
And now, let's congratulate our little new First Communion children on this a special day in their lives. The Lord be with you. And I invite the First Communion children and their families to please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Father, look lovingly upon your children who have received their First Holy Communion today. Bless them and their families and keep them always close to you in your tender care and protection. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. And immediately after, we'll have the crowning of the Blessed Mother statue out front, and all who would like to partake are welcome to do that right after we process out. <laughs> Hallelujah, hallelujah. 